Hello everyone, welcome to another day of magical learning. I'm Sehop, you're watching Play Hop, where we learn all about the world around us and the wonderful people in it. <gasps> I've been practicing my magic. I wanna show y'all something I can do with my hat, ready? That's not what I meant to do. Oh, hold on, let me try again. Nailed it! Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Whew, okay, we'll keep practicing eventually. Practice will make progress and we will get better. You know, just like learning, magic can be unpredictable. But y'all, today's a special day because we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna learn all about trees. I did it, I did it. We're learning about trees today and y'all, this park is beautiful. Look at all these beautiful trees. They're so nice, but I have one favorite, and I think we should go on a quest to find it. And on the way, we can learn how to identify them. Let's go! This is an oak tree. You can tell by its large, lobed leaves. Isn't this pretty? Also, another cool thing about oak trees are the only trees that drop acorns. Do you know an animal that loves acorns? I do, it's a squirrel. <laughs> he said his name is Dave, or Jonathan. I'm not really sure, my squirrel's a little rusty. That's fine. Oh, I see another tree, come with me. Oh, now this, this is a cypress tree. And these right here, these are gonna turn into small woody pine cones. Isn't that cool? And while these kind of look like Christmas trees, they're much different. These are deciduous conifers, which means they do shed all of their leaves. Actually, that's why they're called bald cypress, because they look bald so early on in the season. And speaking of Christmas trees, do you know what an evergreen tree is? Hmm. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. An evergreen tree is a tree that stays green year round. Let's go see if we can find one. So I found a pine tree, but I accidentally shrunk it. Oops, I'll plant two to make up for it, it's fine. So like I was saying, those stay green year round and the pine needles do fall off and when they do, they turn brown and that's pine straw, but there are always new needles ready to replace them so they stay green. But that makes me think, what about those trees that change into beautiful colors and all the leaves fall off? Do you know when that happens? That's right, it's fall. Or if you want to be fancy, you say autumn. <laughs> Do you remember when we were talking about the oak trees with the lobed leaves? I've got to show y'all this one. It's huge, come on. Da, 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 da. Isn't it beautiful? This white oak is huge. And y'all, it's basically like an entire city. There are more than 200 species of animals, insects, and birds that live in this thing. This is their home. How wonderful is that? They can go grow to huge heights. They're so beautiful. And I'm willing to bet it's way older than you. This is probably more than 100 years old. You know, technically, trees don't die of old age. How crazy is that? Stop. It's time for the fun fact of the video. It's a video fun fact of the video. Today's video fun fact is the oldest tree in the whole world is right here in the United States. It's in California. Its name is Methuselah and y'all get this. It is more than 4,800 years old. That means it was already growing when the pyramids were being built. They've been around for so long. Just thinking about the age of these, I bet they've seen so much. Oh, the stories this one could tell. I wish you could talk. Did you say something? You have to tell me if you could talk. Bye, Pharaoh. I heard it! 
Ah, oh, I love the air. Trees clean our air, yeah. providing us oxygen, helping us breathe. They also, of course, give us wood for furniture, for oh. houses and homes, like I said, for those birds and cute squirrels and little bitty chipmunks and tons of ants, millions of ants. Oh, oh no. Oh, but that reminds me of my favorite thing that trees give us, fruit. You know what, actually, let's see if I can do this. It worked. Thank you, trees. You're welcome. Did you hear that? Okay, whatever. One of the easiest ways to tell the difference between trees is by looking at their leaves. You'll remember this one is the oak leaf that we saw earlier. This is the maple leaf. And you can check out the back. This is the coolest part. The veins on the back of the leaves are different. This one is called a palmate vein and it goes out from the middle like hands on a palm. And this is pinnate. It goes straight up and down like a pin and the, the other veins come out the sides. Okay, I've got to show you one more thing. Oh, okay, come here, I've got to show you these. These are called Samara seeds or more commonly known as helicopter seeds. Do you see these? Aren't these a cool shape? They're called helicopter seeds because when they fall off, they spin around really fast like a helicopter. I'm okay. We found it. This is my favorite tree. Do you see this beautiful thing right here? This is a magnolia tree, but not just any magnolia tree, a southern magnolia tree. There are more than 210 species of magnolia tree, but this one is the southern magnolia, and it stays green year-round. It's native to the southeast of the United States, all the way up to parts of Texas. It's the state tree of Mississippi, and the flower is the state flower of Louisiana. And y'all, they're starting to bloom! They're so beautiful. Take a look. Today was so perfect. I feel like we learned so much about trees. I got to practice my magic, and maybe you found a new favorite tree too. <sighs> thank you so much for joining us. I'm Say Hop. This is Play Hop, and you know what? Big thank you to Mr. Magnolia. Thank you, Mr. Magnolia. No, thank you, Thera.